In this video, we will review the construction, features, and function of the VRS Versatile Electronic Indicator that's made in the USA. The features will be the primary features. We have additional videos on the secondary and third functions of the indicator. We also have another video on the radio module and pairing it with our free mobile device that is available in Google Play electronic dial indicator for Android devices as well as the App Store once again electronic dial indicator for iOS devices. We'll start with the construction. Uh, standard would be a 3 8 diameter stem. We do offer 8 millimeter. 448 threaded spindle we do offer M2.5. Left side we do have the battery tray holds two CR2450 lithium batteries. On the right side, we have our data port. It's our Hiroshi connector. Uh, available cables include USB, Digimatic, RS-232, and pigtails if you'd like to make your own cables. We are showing a dust cap on this indicator. Um, most of them we ship with a soft lifting knob and a thread protector. Uh, this is a dust cap for continue, uh, keeping contamination out. Uh, we're showing a flat back, but other backs are available like lug, post, screw, adjustable rack, uh, just to name a few. The construction, we make uh, machine this out of uh, aerospace aluminum. It's real nice compact. It has 270 degrees of rotation. Have a nice little o-ring here that doesn't connect the bezel but helps keep contamination out we have in this indicator introducing a new absolute patented sensor uh, that we've worked many years on absolute i can change the battery not going to lose my position turn off the indicator turn it on knows where it's at turn it off move the spindle turn it on it knows where it's at don't lose my position. No overspeed. It's very, very smooth spindle with bearings. And there's no overspeed. Knock it as much as you want. It's a fixed scale. So it's very robust. Makes for a nice compact design. Most indicators, 99% of them, have a moving scale. That's what tends to break, is that moving scale. Uh, this is fixed, the reader is moving, and it's much, much more robust. Another advantage is just this is, can be a one-inch model. Everything's the same except for the spindle length. This is 600 thousandths. We also make a quarter inch, 150 thousandths, and 60 thousandths travel. Um, very compact for a one-inch. So you don't have these big, bolty one-inch travel indicators because of the fixed scale. Uh, the, normally a scale would need all this room for one inch to move. So really, really nice, absolute, robust, no overspeed, never lose your, your position. To get into the primary functions, we have six buttons. The off button, the on, the on will turn into a zero after the indicator is on. So, have your floating zero, like some people would like to call it. You can see it says zero on the screen. So, dual function button. We have our hold. Press and release to toggle it on and off. If you want to change it from max to a different hold, you press and hold down the button. The three hold functions will appear, max, min, and freeze. Release it on the desired hold function. So if we want to keep our min, it's just going to keep the min up there. Let's zero it so I can show the min. Zero right there. And it's just going to keep my min value. Press and release to toggle it off. So three mode function, uh, hold functions, max, min, and freeze. Uh, we can show you the freeze. Press it down. Release when freeze icon is blinking. Now I can toggle that off and on. I move my spindle up, I hit the fold, and it's frozen that value. Now, if 
I unfreeze it, it's going to go to my actual value. So real nice hold function. We have our inch millimeter button back and forth here. Very easy, you can see. We have our towel button. So I can press and release to turn it on, press and release to turn it off. If you need to program it, which you're going to have to do, press and hold it down. And when you see the high icon blinking, release it. Now we can program it. Automatically go into that set page. We use our move, change, and apply right on the nameplate. Move, change, and apply. Use the move to change. Now I can change that blinking icon. Let's make it 600,000. Then I'm going to hit the apply button. Now it automatically goes to my low. If I want to keep it the same, I just hit the apply or I use the move to change it. Then I hit the apply button. So now we've programmed it. You will see when I'm out of tolerance, the LCD will be blinking and it will tell me if I'm high or low. The low is blinking. You also probably noticed we have some LEDs up here. When we're in tolerance, they will blink briefly. When we're out of tolerance, they'll blink red. So it's a real nice go no go gauge. You got two nice features telling you that you're out of tolerance. Toggle it off. So I'm going to briefly show you how to program. If you don't want the LEDs on, we're going to hit the second on zero and then we're going to hold down the inch metric button all on so i have the leds on for both functions which is for data as well as for tall i would use the change button you want it off for all of them you want it on just for tall you want it on just for data or for both then you hit the apply so now i kept it on i hit my towel and you can see the LEDs are blinking depending if I'm in or out. Um, I mentioned data, so we'll just quickly show that. If I hit the second data, the LEDs will blink up there. It shows me I just sent some information. Uh, this is not a primary function, but I'm going to show it to you anyways because it might be the one of the first things you do. Some people love the graduations above. Some people don't. I particularly love it when I'm in hold or when I'm in TIR. To turn it off, second on zero inch metric those icons are gone turn it back on second on zero inch metric i've got my scale my analog scale back on we are going to zero at about halfway so you can see it go back and forth really like it in tir or comparative measurements or when i'm using the hold so second on zero inch metric on second on zero inch metric so just wanted to put that as a primary because people might want to change it real quick um, get rid of it might find it distracting depending on how you're using the indicator so we've reviewed the primary functions of the indicator in an additional video we will go over the second functions the mode which is TIR presets um, ratios uh, data storage, uh, functions such as those, the lock, the lock combination, uh, wonderful features. Um, so, and then in an additional video, we'll get into the electronic dial indicator app that I mentioned uh, that's free to download that will pair with the built in ra short range radio module. We'd also have a more industrial radio that's optional that would pair with a receiver that would plug into your PC. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the video.